what do you think is wrong with mainstream journalism and how do we fix it? That is a huge question. <laughs> I mean, my, my usual answer, like I always said that the mainstream media discovered that police brutality was a story with national consequences about when Ferguson happened. You know, and people like Radley, places like Reason, some more decent far left outlets knew this, but there, especially with local reporting, there was just years and years of puff pieces about the local police and a fundamental trust in authority figures. I did what ended up a not polished journalism thesis on um, media coverage of Waco and Ruby Ridge. And I mostly just tried to look at the way they talked about these situations, the media, that they had no idea what was happening. And particularly at Waco, you have people reporting on what the feds are saying, you know, on any given day, and they're not qualifying it by saying, well, we don't know because we can't get anywhere near the situation. And the people telling us X are the ones preventing us. Right. You know, yeah. there are two parties. One is preventing the press from going anywhere near the other party. And yet so many outlets and publications, individuals reported as if, well, Fed said it, it's true. And that kind of trust is um, a huge problem. And another huge problem is the fundamental laziness. And you know, when something like a Snowden-like big story gets literally dumped in their lap, then they can report decently on that. But there's very little digging and there's very little looking at institutions that you and I probably hate and going, why does that exist? Should that exist? What kind of harm is that doing? And the same with policies, too. It's just and it, it's a surface level acceptance. And it's not about the way conservative media might say, oh, it's full of lies. Blah, blah, blah. It's, it's more like a surface factual report a lot of the time, I think, you know, yeah. that there are these. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Just like a really shallow analysis and never challenging the establishment, just sort of reinforcing the status quo. I mean, generally, there's always exceptions and there always has been, but that's a general critique that I would agree with. So how do we fix it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I found myself not as prolific in writing during Trump and more like confused about how I should be portraying things because there are people who are acting like because the liberal media is rife with things to hate and they're being weird right now that somehow they're the bigger enemy than, you know, the executive branch, things like that. I just, it, it was it was a lot easier to be Captain No Fun under Obama and be like, yeah, he's, he's your cool college professor, guys, but look what else is happening. Right. That's an easy position to be in, and it's not like it's any less alienating. Um, people still don't like you, but there's a clarity there that I have a feeling other libertarians feel the same ways. And it's not just like, well, we secretly hate Democrats more or anything, but it's like there's an easy roadmap there for people who hate all government or even, you know, night watchman state types. Mm -hmm.